And so the journey has come to an end. It was so very thoughtful of you to tell me about this little cruise. I promised I would find you when it reached its conclusion, and I did. You have helped my old acquaintance, Nahindri, find his treasure. A job well done. My congratulations. What do you think happens next? This is neither the time nor the place for courtesies. I would prefer it if you answered my question instead. What do you suppose will happen once you've reached Nahindri's heart? Hmm, smart boy. That is exactly what's going to happen. You see, Nahindri wants to rise again. To reunite his dry bones with his rotten heart. But he can't complete this process without blood. Hot, living blood, which is something he hasn't had for many millennia. And that's where you come in. There it is, the spirit of victory. You've lived up to my expectations. You're strong and brave. That rotting wreck of a demon lord is no match for you. I'm confident that you will kill him, albeit with some effort. But I have my own plans for old Nahindri. Here, this is my weapon against demon lords. I don't want to see that wretch brought back to life. Drive this bolt straight into his black heart. Just as soon as you're done with that seafaring pile of bones that thinks itself his successor. This weapon should be familiar to you by now. I recall you using a similar bolt to punch a hole in the goat's hide on Colafir. We have a long history, he and I. You must have noticed how possessive he is by nature. He desperately wanted to add me to his collection of treasures. But this gem had too high a price for him and his reeking corpse became the first of the Midnight Isles. Now he's decided to return. But I am not about to give him a second chance at caging me. I have already given you an excellent weapon. I think you'll manage. You're welcome. I do hope Nehindri appreciates it too.
has fallen. Good. So that's what my greatest treasure looks like. The reason for my suffering. My black heart. The imposter awakened it with the promise of a sacrifice. But he failed to fulfill his promise. Now it is dying. I used to wish for one thing only. An end to my torment. I would have asked you to destroy my heart so that I could finally go to the Rift of Repose. But now, your words made me reflect. I lived a long life, and over its course I committed many deeds I could... I could have chosen not to commit. Yes, I had a choice. And had I chosen a different path, who knows? Perhaps my fate would have been different too. In my eternity in the afterlife, I blamed myself for my actions. I ran from my pain instead of facing it. But now I am ready. Do you see this chain that has brought us here? The chain of my failures and misdeeds, short-lived joys and long regrets. It is now as fine as a strand of spider silk. Break it. Free me from my heart, from the detestable essence of a demon lord. Let all that Nahindri once was rot away. After that, if there is anything left of me worthy of joining the River of Souls, I will be glad to appear before Phorasma at long last. I don't know what remorse means. I am a demon lord, and I have never felt anything of the sort. What do you call the feeling that makes your soul ache? And this pain is yours, even though it was you who inflicted pain upon others. I do not know. My life was pathetic. My afterlife was pointless. I am tired of... being... You know, I could have helped the imposter defeat you. Although I don't think he could have, even with my help. But I didn't help him. Today, Nahindri must die for good. My heart is dying. Its agony will last for another hour. Maybe a day. Then it will finally die. And my spirit will be released, so it may find the rest it has earned. But why would you simply leave? End my existence right now? Why wait for it to end on its own? Noctigula has the safety of her island in mind. The one that was formed out of my flesh after my death. The destruction of my heart will flood that island, diminishing the Succubus Queen's realm. If you pierce my heart with her bolt, I will remain her prisoner for many centuries to come. I beg you, don't do it. I will accept your decision, whatever it may be.
I see you have failed to do my bidding. You disappoint me. Too much is at stake right now for me to kill you for this trespass. Farewell. 